Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have such an exciting one because a brand new product just came out and I'm gonna be reviewing it for you guys. It is the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Sculpting Palette. When I tell you I almost fell out of my seat when I saw this on Sephora, I have never clicked Add to Cart and bought a product so quick in my life, you guys. I was so beyond excited to be trying this, and I'll get into it a little bit more later in the video. But today, we are gonna be seeing what this is all about. We're gonna test it out on my face, and I will let you know if I think it's worth the hefty price tag. So, before we do get started, please, you guys, I say this every video, but please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really, really, really just means the world and you will not be missing out. You get three videos a week. I take suggestions if there's something specific you guys wanna see. So please make sure you're subscribed. But if you wanna see me review this brand new product, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, like I said, I am just so beyond excited to be trying this, you guys. I remember back in the day, like years ago, I was probably, I don't even know, like 20, 19, 20, something like that. I had this Laura Mercier contour palette, and when I tell you I was obsessed with it, I literally used that every time I put makeup on. And when I was like running low on it, I went to go buy another palette and then I found out it was discontinued and it literally broke my heart because I had like none left in mine that I had at home. And I have not been able to find something that compared to that. I don't know why they always discontinue the best products, but that palette literally just like took over my life. Like I was obsessed with it. So I died when I saw that this came out and I really, really am so excited to try it and see if it does compare to that one. There's so many different like shades and different options in this. So I'm really hoping that like the shade range, the consistency of it, just everything. I'm really hoping that it's even better than that one that I had. So I have this pulled up on Sephora. It is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Cream Contour and Highlight Sculpting Palette. So obviously I don't have any product on my face besides uh, foundation because I wanted this to be a true review of what is in this palette. So this goes for $85, which is very expensive, but you get 12 different like shades of things in here. And it seems like they're pretty good sized, if you ask me. Obviously, we'll get more into it once we open this up. But I feel like when you think about it, $85, but these are probably going to last a while. I feel like that can be reasonable. Of course, we'll see once we open this up and see what the quality is like. But I'm just trying to justify it because it is a little expensive. The highlights say radiant finish, natural finish, cream formula, long wearing, medium coverage, best for dry combo and normal skin. I have like normal skin, so perfect. And then it says an easy to use cream face palette with all you need to conceal, contour, highlight, and underpaint, like a pro for a flawlessly sculpt look. The palette has six shades to conceal or even out skin tone, two contour shades, and four highlighters. The lightweight, uh, comfortable formula sinks with skin for a naturally radiant finish that lasts for 12 hours, while the buildable coverage makes it ideal for all skill levels and looks. Obviously find the shades that match you, and then do the concealer, then contour and highlight. Obviously, I'm not going to get into like all the little details on the how to use. We know how to contour and highlight. So let me just get out of there. But that's pretty much all it says on Sephora. Like I said, this is brand new. This just came out. And I also, when I went to go pull this up, I saw that they have like a foundation palette available too. And I am tempted, you guys. Like I just love the look of this online. So who knows? Maybe I will go crazy. But let's open this up because I really want to see what this looks like inside. Okay, so it's like a little tin 
and it, I love that it has like all the shades on the outside so you can see exactly where everything is in here it's like very creative like it's so simple but you don't see this like I really love it and then it has the logo at the bottom it has some weight to it for sure and then let me open this up oh my god as Janice would say I'm obsessed I feel like there is something for everyone in here you guys there's so many shades like you can see like the concealer and contour I think these are the concealer shades these are the contours and then these four are the highlights so I think I know what I'm gonna conceal with I'm probably gonna end up going with like this one or maybe mix these two and then I'll contour probably with like this one and then I'm gonna highlight with I don't know, maybe this one. There's a lot to do. So I'm gonna swatch these for you guys really quick on my arm so we can see what they look like and then I'll come back. I will let you know initial thoughts and then we're gonna test these out of my face. Like I said, I hardly have anything on here so I have like a clean slate to work with. So let's get these swatches in and then we will get started on applying. Okay, I am back. Here are all of my swatches on my arm. As you can see, this first one is very, very, very light. This is gonna be good for a lot more fair skin tones. I feel like I probably shouldn't mess with this one, but I do feel like these second two are gonna work really nicely on my face right now, so we'll see. They all felt so creamy, you guys. Like, they were a little bit messy when I was swatching because I dipped my finger in there but they felt so comfortable to like touch and they feel like the perfect amount of creamy yet slippery. So I feel like they'll be like pretty easy to work with. Of course, we'll see once I actually start putting them on my face, but they just felt so good in my fingers and they swatched really, really nicely. I definitely think that they're pigmented. I definitely would say probably more of like a medium coverage and they all just have a beautiful glow to them. Like they're not matte, they have a really nice glow and these highlighter shades, I don't know, we're gonna see. I don't know how highlighty they're gonna be, but maybe I'll like that because I like a natural highlight. So we'll see. I do wanna get started though on applying. So I'm gonna do a little conceal, contour, and highlight, and then I'll show you guys what they look like after that. So let's get started. Okay, I just finished applying all the products. So as you saw, I did a concealer. I did uh, both contours actually, and then I did two highlighters. So I do have some thoughts. Overall, I do wanna say I really like this palette. I think you do get like what you pay for with this. You get 12 different shades of these products. I feel like you don't need a ton of product to get the look you're trying to go for. The only, I think, thing I don't really love about this, and maybe this is my fault, like maybe it's just the shade that I chose, but I feel like this concealer shade does not look like it would be too light for me. I feel like 
when I'm looking at it right next to my face like it almost matches the tan that I have and when I put it on with the brush I felt like it wasn't too much lighter than my um, foundation but when I blended it out I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about but I feel like especially in my inner corners it's very bright but I almost feel like it like accentuated the look of the bags under my eyes like can you see that right there I feel like that didn't look like that before I put this product on so that's the only thing that's throwing me off like it is giving me a brightness under my eyes but I feel like it's accentuating the bags under my eyes so I don't really know how great the like the coverage is good because it covered up my blemishes but I don't like what it's doing under my eyes that's the only thing the contour shades i feel like i liked both a lot but i really really loved this warmer brown i feel like it really just brought my face back to life and i know the cooler tone contour shade is supposed to create that like shadow effect and i feel like it did a pretty good job of that but obviously for me i definitely would not do this and only this like i feel like i would need to do something like this on top of it to really like complete it and bring my face back to life. So that's what I did and I feel like I really really like how the bronzed look turned out and then the highlight shades. I ended up using this like darker um, brownish highlight shade because I felt like I wanted just more of that kind of bronzed up look and it went perfectly with the bronzers I had underneath it. I feel like it gave me a nice little glow. It's not like a beaming highlight but it gave me a beautiful glow, which I really, really love. And then I added this lighter one just on top of it to give it that extra little something. And I did the lighter one on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And I feel like that really, really just completed it. So overall, I really do like what these did for me. I feel like they were nice to blend too. Like they weren't like super easy to blend. Like I feel like it took a little bit of effort with the beauty blender. But once they were blended in, they literally just like melted in with the rest of the product that was on my face. Like I feel like everything looks very smooth and nice on my face. So I do really, really like how these blended and worked with other makeup products. And just the overall look of it, I feel like all of these go really, really nicely together. I just feel like I need some kind of like color correction under my eyes because that's the only thing that is throwing me off. And I feel... Like, I use concealers that are lighter than this, and they don't do this to my under eyes, so that's the only thing I don't like about this palette. Everything else I do really, really love, so I'm very happy with this, you guys. I want to say, just as far as the first impression goes, like, I really love everything about this, except for, like, this. So I want to say, in my opinion right now, it's worth it, especially this is a first impression, so I don't know how they last. But if these do last for like 12 hours, that makes it even better and they don't feel sticky. Like you know how cream products typically feel sticky? These feel like there's nothing on my face. So it feels really, really good. It looks really, really good. So overall, I'm very, very happy with this and I'm gonna have to say yes. I just think I need to play around a little bit more with whatever is happening under my eyes, if you know what I mean. So other than that, I feel like I'm in love with this and my under eyes are not bad. It's just like this that's throwing me off. So that's all I'm going to say. I think yes. I think I'm definitely going to be playing with this a lot and seeing like finding the best techniques to use this. So I feel like this is going to be such a fun product for me. I was so, so excited to buy it. And now I'm even more excited to like take my makeup off and use this all over again. So it is a big yes for me. I really, really enjoyed this. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you see what I see. Let me know if you like or dislike something that I may not have mentioned. Just give me your thoughts. Let me know what other videos you guys want from me and give this a big thumbs up. But stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.